those students, it's really important that you follow the plan. So let's take a look at the plan. What plan? I don't see no plan. Okay, well here's your plan right here. I think they also have a plan on the left hand side of your page. And that's, that's, a, that's a list um, and I'm not sure how it works. Maybe students could tell me, do these items disappear once they're completed? I don't know. So um, what you're going to do to access your plan is click plan. And you'll notice that there are different formats the plan comes in. There's an agenda view, there's a day view, and that will show you the plan one day at a time. Now you wanna be careful, right now I'm only showing image design. If you wanna see all of your classes, then click on that little button that I showed you up there that was this little drop down right here. And um, you can show all calendars. You can also here change the calendar color. So if like the color that you have for any of your classes is undesirable for you, um, feel free to change those colors. But if you do show all calendars, then all of your courses will show up at one time. Okay, that's perfect. So here's the day view. So you can see on today that we have uh, an item, it says, live class, so I'm gonna click more, and that will take me in there and it's saying, oh, it starts in 20 minutes, I better hurry up and get this video made. You made it, click the link below to access the orientation. So just follow the directions that you see in your plan. You have a breadcrumb trail, that's what these are called. This will take us back to the plan, let's go back. And um, there's also an orientation today, so if you click on that, you'll see, Oh, look at Welcome to Image Design. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Giroux. Complete your orientation now. All right, and when you're all done with that, you'll be ready to learn and start week one. And here's a bunch of items, okay, so that are in your plan. All right, taking that breadcrumb trail back again. Now, that's very fine and dandy for the day view. I am a fan of the week view. So let's take a look at the week view. Okay, so what that does is it gives us a bird's eye view of everything we have going on. So we can see that our first class is today, the orientation is supposed to be completed today, okay? After you complete your orientation today, then you are going to start week one, and you're going to be doing units two and three from April 2nd through April 8th. And there's actually a calendar over here, so you can see how that looks. So basically in this class, since we have classes on Tuesday, our classes will start on Tuesday and you'll have all the way through the weekend and midnight Monday to get your work submitted. I find that that's really helpful if we start every unit together and end the day before our next unit starts. Isn't that nice? Yes, I love that. So that's how this will work. All of your due dates will fall on a Monday. Okay, we'll always have live classes Tuesdays at 2 p.m. And if you can't make it to a live class, just send me an email and let me know and you can participate asynchronously. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next week. So I'm just gonna click that arrow and that takes us to the following week. So as you can see, unit week one ends on Monday. Week two will start, we'll be doing units four, five, and seven in week two and then that will end and be due Monday. Week three will be our first project, and that will be due on Monday, April 22nd. Week four, we'll do unit six, eight, and nine, and then in week five, we'll have project two, and that's also the week that we have prom, and I have also included information about the prom in there, so if you can't figure out where to find it, hey, it's right there in your plan. Uh, and then week six, uh, we'll be doing units 10, 11, and 12. And the UD, UD, UDMAF Festival um, at UVU is that week. So if any of you are interested in participating in that competition, let me know right away. We have a due date coming up of like April 17th or something like that. Um, and then week seven will be our third project. And then you'll notice when we get to that week, it says final deadline approaching Monday, May 20th. So at this point, if you have any work that's late or overdue, you are going to be thinking, oh, I need to hurry up and get that turned in. I have a deadline approaching. 
here it is, final deadline, May 20th at midnight. Everything needs to be submitted, including that final week seven, project three. Week eight is going to be short. It is going to be a career fair week and we uh, will end on Friday the 24th. This is Memorial Day weekend. So as you can see, we'll come back. We won't have school on Monday. I do have a live class scheduled on Tuesday in the event that we vote and decide to have a class party that day or in the event that I have any people that I need to have a serious conference with. Um, but ultimately, that deadline the week before is going to be um, the last of our GIMP project work. So we will probably have one assignment um, during career week, and then that will be the end. Um, graduation is Thursday, and if you are a senior, I do have the graduation information here on your plan. So perfect. All right. Any questions about the plan? All right, let's take a look at the content. So as you can see, the very first thing in your contact is my contact information, okay? It's got all of that right there. So no excuses not to contact me if you run into any issues. Here's that little thing that was saying class starts Tuesday. Here's the orientation folder. So if you click on that orientation folder, this is where that link to the plan goes for the orientation. And here are where all of the hyperlinks are that you'll need to complete your orientation tasks, okay? I have a live classes and recordings folder. This is very similar to all of the recordings folders that you have in all of your classes, except that since we only have a weekly class, I have each of our live classes, um, they each have their own folder. So when you click on today's live class folder, um, it'll say, yay, you made it. Click the link below to access the orientation. And this is just going to swing you back over to that orientation folder, okay? So this will probably be the only time where you won't have something that you actually have to do in the folder. And then week one. So here is where we're going to be starting, week one. When you click on week one, Underneath it, you'll notice that there is a unit two and a unit three. So I want you to actually physically click on unit two. And when you do that, it will pull up the directions. It says to learn unit two by either reading it yourself or watching this video tutorial where I read it with you. And then take the unit two quiz. So please make sure that you take advantage of those tutorials where I go through and I read all of this content to you. And I also read the quiz and I help you out with some quiz taking strategies, okay? So be sure to take advantage of those. Next, you have a unit three. So I want you to click right on that unit three and then that will pull up the directions. Watch and follow step-by-step step the Unit 3 video tutorial. Submit your work demonstrating mastery to the Dropbox below. So be sure to follow the tutorial. Now, this is just a little heads up. Um, these are old videos that I made for an old class. And at that time, I wasn't thinking, gosh, it'll be great to reuse these in the future. So just ignore the part if I'm in there telling you to get into some folder that doesn't exist in our class. Um, I'm so sorry about that. But all of the other stuff about what to do, where to find stuff, pretty much, um, you're going to have resources in this class. All of that stuff will pretty much be the same. It's going to show you how to save. It's going to show you how to export. It's going to show you how to optimize. So be doing all of those things. It will show you how to name your files, okay? So uh, just ignore little tidbits about the fact that the classes and the folders and stuff aren't lining up. Dropbox, here it is, uh, directions, okay? Once again, they're in there. And then here's the rubric. When I talk about following a rubric, this is how you're gonna earn your points. 10 points to submit. You're properly named with your first and last name first, optimizing uh, GIMP file with the extension.xcf, and 10 points for submitting your exported, properly named JPEG, okay? And after you get done with this assignment, that JPEG will be about 164 kilobytes, okay? Uh, if it's not exactly 164, but it is really low like that, that's what I want to see. Okay, and it still needs to look good, but I explained all that in the video. Okay, so anyway, that is the essential structure. I'm just going to click on that. You can see that we have week one, week two, week three, 
So this coordinates with everything in our plan and it has dates on there. So it's very user friendly. You're also going to find that when you click on grades, this is your grade book, that it will be organized very user friendly as well. If it does decide to pop up anytime in this century, come on now, come on. Oh my. Okay, so you'll notice that in your grade book, everything is organized by weeks. So you can go into your grade book and if you don't have a score for something and that date is past due, then you know that you're overdue on that and you need to get that done. Also, if you have scores in here and they are not perfect scores, you're gonna see some pretty detailed feedback in here about how to get your score up. So take advantage of those opportunities to refine and resubmit your work, please. And that's this class in a nutshell. Hopefully you have got a great bird's eye view of what we're going to be doing and are excited. If you're not, let me know. We have other electives and other art classes that you can take. You're not stuck. Don't ever act like you're just stuck, okay? I don't wanna be talking to you six weeks from now and you're like, oh, well, I really didn't wanna take this class because we had this conversation already, right? All right, so get back to me if this class is gonna be an issue for you, okay? And for the rest of you who are here because you're really excited about it, I'm so happy, I can't wait to see your work. I love image design, it's gonna be so much fun. You're gonna love it.